Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and today I'm going to be installing a worker kit into this rival Pathfinder. This was sent to me by a fan who attempted this uh, upgrade, but apparently failed somehow, and so they asked me if I'd be willing to give it a try, and having never installed this particular kit before, it sounded like fun. I don't think I've ever converted a rival blaster to half dart. Maybe I have. Can't think of any off the top of my head, though. So we're going to give this a try. The kit seems to be fairly straightforward. We have a magwell that we'll get put in here, which does require some shell cutting. We have our breech and barrel retention lug system. We've got our barrel. We also do have a longer barrel that I believe we'll be going with. We do have an upgraded spring. We have the upgraded pusher, which will get grafted into place on the original plunger. That all makes perfect sense to me. We've got replacement O-rings as per spec. The one thing I'm not entirely sure on yet, and maybe it'll become apparent as the build goes along, um, is what is actually going to hold the magazine in place because it there doesn't appear to be any kind of a catch. or The catch doesn't seem to line up with anything, but maybe I'm missing something and it will become readily apparent at some point. We'll see. We're going to we're going to take a look. So we've got our brand new Pathfinder here. Never been sniffed. We're just going to snip it out of here. According to the instructions, the tools that we will need for this is going to be the screwdriver to open it up, side cutters and possibly a knife, or in my case, probably a Dremel to uh, refit the magwell, and a file to clean all that up, uh, something to cut the uh, plunger system the original uh, breech loading system in so we'll uh we'll see let's get this thing open and uh see how easy it is in fact to install this okay so it turns out the longer barrel i'm not sure what it's for because it won't actually work with this kit um the barrel has to be properly uh tooled on the inside in order for the breech to actually fit, and it doesn't on this one. So, uh, I'll be going with the one that actually works, and the one that came with the kit for now. The person I send this to can figure out what they want to do with that other barrel in their own time. So that goes into there. We then tighten down this screw. Actually, I think we'll get this in place first. That goes right there, seats nicely, tighten down that screw, and you know, I'm being assaulted by a puma. What can I do for you? I am making a video. You will have to wait, man. You will have to wait. Okay, so that's that out of the way. We are replacing our spring. Yep, that is a heavier spring. We'll set that one aside. And we'll deal with this. We do have a replacement O-ring. We'll go ahead and uh, swap that over, and then we will need to re-lubricate it. Replacement O-ring, replacement spring. Is this spring a little bit smaller? It is a little bit smaller. So we will need to trim the dart. There we go spring kind of spacer thing here, just a little bit. Madam. Mad, 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 madam. You are a fiend. Okay, got our spring on there, set that aside. So that's the easy part. The more difficult part is going to be making this fit right here like it's supposed to. Shouldn't be too difficult. And uh, replacing this large pusher with this much smaller pusher. So that'll be, that'll be the exciting bit. We'll get to that. We'll start with this.
All right, the Magwell train. The Magwell is in and seems to be solid. This is far as I can make out. Um, I don't know if I, I may end up gluing it in place a little bit just to keep it from wandering around, but it seems to be fairly solid. Also, the uh, the mystery of mag retention has been solved. This lip up here actually clips around the feed lips and holds it in place. So that's actually very creative and ingenious, I think. So yeah, now we just need to deal with the breach. So I need to cut this section off and graft this section on. So, um, and so yes, I think. All right, I've got that cut off. I've got this trimmed now so that it will fit right on there. I just need to glue it in place and hypothetically button this thing back up. So here we go. All right. It is done. There were a couple of parts left over. I removed all of the locks uh, that would prevent you from being able to deprime the blaster because you really want to be able to with something like this. Um, the mag release has also been left out because it's no longer necessary. The uh, priming ratchet has been removed because it was in the way of the magazine and uh, it seems to be feeding better now. I'm gonna give it another try. We're gonna take it over to the chronograph and see what kind of performance it's getting. I think it's kind of spicy and I'm looking forward to seeing what it's actually capable of doing. So, to the chronograph! All right, let's put some darts through this thing and see if it actually works and uh, get you your FIPS. I know how much you love your FIPS. 154, 157, 165. 155, 157. One misfeed, I'll talk about that later. First, let's try some other darts. So the first round was, was with uh, Gen 3 Plus worker darts, the, the red ones. Now we're gonna use some uh, bamboos. 180, 181, 183, 180, 183 again. So very consistent and a little considerably higher with the bamboo darts, no surprise there. The one issue where it, it didn't feed, that appears to be a result of uh, the kit not perhaps not being the best design, but uh, part of it I think is that this thing was designed to feed rival balls, which are have a shorter diameter, smaller diameter, than half darts are long. And so there's only barely enough travel in this blaster to open the breech enough to actually feed a half dart in. And if you don't absolutely power it as far back as it will go, because it will catch there, but it will go another half inch back. And that half inch is very important because otherwise it doesn't quite open the breech enough. And so you gotta really mean it when you prime this thing in order to make sure the breech opens enough to feed. But other than that, it seems to be working beautifully. Um, that is not bad for a drop-in kit. I'm sure you could get more. If you actually could get a longer barrel, you might be able to get a little bit more out of it. Um, as it is, you could easily put a worker scar barrel down inside here, and not only would it fit on there, it would be fairly well protected. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty nifty little kit. So I'm glad I was able to get it in there. I'm glad I got it working. I look forward to shipping this out to the person who sent it to me. And uh, yeah. That's it. I got stuff I've been wanting to do all day and haven't been able to because this thing gave me a little bit of grief. I made one mistake. I was able to fix it though. Anyway, thank you for watching.